Right, let's do some very, very late leet codes. Uh, sorry about that. In any case, uh, our first problem of the night is number 155 min stack. Design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum elements in constant time. Implement the min stack class where min stack initializes the stack element. That's fine. Void push int val pushes the element val onto the stack. Pop removes the to element. Top gets the top. And get min retrieves the minimum element in the stack. So I thought about this yesterday a little bit. Um, admittedly, uh, it just confused the hell out of me. I basically took three of the hints, all three of the hints actually, from Cracking the Coding interview. Uh, this problem is part of that book. And honestly, if you are looking at these leak code problems and you're getting confused, and they don't have hints at the bottom of these leak code problems, I honestly suggest trying to see if they exist within Cracking the Coding interview. Because the hints that um, are provided within that book are pretty damn solid, and I would recommend you to check those out. In any case, it seems like we're probably going to meet, we're probably going to need a stack node, uh, which will hold a val as an int, as well as a next min, which is of type stack node nullable. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. So why we have this stack node, this uh, or this yeah stack node nullable next min, is because of the fact that if we remove a minimum element from our stack, we must be able to get the minimum of the stack, the remaining stack within constant time. The only way that we can do so in this case really is to kind of track it in almost a linked list like manner where we have a reference to the next node. So I think we also need some other data points, but let's think about this some more uh, later. So let's see, push. Um, we are going to need also, of course, a sort of stack implementation. So we'll just say stack here is equal to mutable list of, and this will be a mutable list of stack node with nothing inside initially. And we'll do lowercase s. Um, so we will need also a variable to our current min, which is of type uh, stack node nullable is equal to null. And the idea for this is that if we have a current min with a value less than, uh, or with the value more than a new value, we move the current min to there and move the next min, or move its next min to our current min. Basically, we keep track of a current minimum, and if it is less, then we move it. So, now in this case, we can say if current min is equal to null, then current min is equal to our new stack node, which is of val, val, and which has a next min that will default initialize to null just to make life easier for us. Else, we need to compare that if current min val is less than current or is less than our val. So if our value is greater than our current min, then we don't need to do anything. Um, Otherwise, if our current min val is greater, then we need to do our swap, right? So we need to say val temp is equal to current min. <clears throat> In this case, we know that 
current min will exist, so we'll just do a double bang here, operator, in order to make sure that this is a stack node non-nullable. We'll say our current min is equal to a new stack node with the uh, with the val, and we can say temp, which was our old uh, current min. And then we can do stack dot add current min. Here we can also do stack dot add current min. And in this case, we will remove at our we will remove remove from the top, which is our left or sorry our right end. So if the current min value is less so that means that we we put in a higher number we can say that hmm do we need to do anything let me think if i add negative 2 and then i add 0 well, negative 2 is initially the current min, right? And 0 is greater than our current min val. Well, what happens? Well, we what, whatever, ha uh, whatever we do, we will always pop 0 first, right? We'll always pop 0 first, and therefore it doesn't matter that there is no next there is no next um, reference from zero, negative 2 to 0 well technically if we're looking at the this on an array level the negative 2 the next min is 0 it's not necessary because 0 will always be removed first before negative 2 and whenever we call get min it will always be negative 2 and never 0 in that case however when we add negative 3, negative 3 is less than negative 2. So we need to set this current minimum. We need to reset the current minimum to this new minimum. And then we also need to set the next value to negative 2 so that when we pop negative 3 from the top, then the current minimum goes back to negative 2. So I think actually what we can do is that we can actually get rid of this case altogether and we can say that if our current min value is actually greater than an incoming value, then we swap it. We don't need to worry too much about other cases, as far as I feel. So now we can say that uh, if our, we can say this dot top, hmm, if stack at stack dot size minus one. So our last element is our current min. Then our current min will be reset to our current min dot next min. And this is a nullable value, so we'll have to do that. Then we can just do stack dot remove at stack dot size minus one. So the main thing is that if we encounter our next min or our current min move to the next move to the next minimum that we have our top is just going to be return our stack at stack dot size minus one uh, dot val because this value is um, this value, sorry, is the actual integer. This pop is a unit, so we don't need to do anything. And then for our get min, we can just return our current min question mark dot val. So I think this is actually all we needed to really do for this one. The push is O of 1 because we aren't taking any additional time to figure out our current min. We always hold a reference to our current min, and if a new min comes in, then we replace it, and that's it. And we add it to our stack, of course. 
Then we have our pop, which is again not uh, anything special uh, because when we remove at our end of our stack, that's really not doing anything much, right? And we replace our current min, which doesn't take any additional time. Our top and get min are the most obvious of the ones that don't take any additional time because they're just getting a reference and then returning that. Now, there is an argument to be said about the fact that I am using a mutable list rather than a JVM or a Java stack. This may or may not be fast enough. I'm actually not too sure. If it is too slow, we could just migrate over to a Java stack and that will be a proper stack where the retrieval time for the end will always be well actually technically the removal time is still is still fine amortized and also the insertion time is also fine amortized for the mutable list if we're assuming that when we uh, that we always expand and multiply with a factor of 2 and when that gets amortized we go down to a constant time insertion and removal assuming that the array list even shrinks when it gets under a threshold. So let's give this a shot. If this is too slow, then we'll have to, of course, migrate over to the stack. And if we d get something wrong, then we'll, of course, we'll also have to, we'll have to um, fix that. So let's see, uh, could not, Smart cast because current min is a mutable property that could have changed by this time. Well, um, We can say, let's see, in this case, we know that it'll not be null. Current min question mark dot val. Where's that going on? Is a stack node. We know that there is a val property. I don't know why this is not, this is not a uh, going through. We'll have to take a look at this in a bit. Uh, looks like this is also running into issues. Next min is not being interesting. Okay, so our next min is not being respected. Oh, I remember we ran into a similar case with the other problem. Oh gosh, how did we fix it then? It's not recognizing these as essentially properties of um it's not recognizing the, the stack node has having properties um why 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 first let's run this to see if this current min thing goes went away okay it did so now the main problem is just that this is not being recognized Maybe if I did a data class instead, then they would then it would understand like what we're doing. Uh, this is a value will not change. This is a value also will not change. Uh, current min compared to val, which is not allowed on a nullable receiver, current min. Well, we know that current min is not null in this case, so we, we should be able to just get rid of that, right? Because we passed the point of current min is equal to null. So assuming the compiler picks up on that, then we don't, we shouldn't need that. Uh, current type is that. Okay, if current min... is null, then we just return zero. Though with the problem restriction, it says that pop top get min will be always called on non-empty stacks. So this case should never happen, but we just need it here to keep Kotlin happy. 
current min dot val is greater than or equal to val. Smart cast is impossible. Uh, well, we know that we know that we won't change current min in this case, so let's just do throw a double bang operator. I know that the double bang operator is a bit of a code smell within Kotlin, but we'll see what what uh, what goes wrong there. Um, let's see. Okay, so negative two. So this top, for some reason, grabbed. Let's see. We added negative two. Then we added zero. Then we added negative three, right? And then negative three, we popped. And for some reason, the top is now that. Well, we can print out our stack. And let's see what we end up with. Actually, I'm not sure if this will print out any uh, value or any like value that is important. Um, so our zero just, oh, we never added. Okay, so we do need that case. We just do a stack.add stack node with the val. So we just add, uh, if it's not greater then we don't care about it and we just add it. Cool. Let's run our other test cases. Um, or is there only one test case that we are given? That's fine. Let's throw in a submit and let's see if it's fast enough. It is. If it is not fast enough, then we are we are forced to use that stack. Uh, looks like we got some wrong answer though. Let's see where we went wrong. Uh, let's run this code and then let's toss in the diff tool. Three, one, four. Let's see. We did push, 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 then top. So min stack, three pushes. We got the top. We popped, we got the min, we popped again, and then we didn't get anything after that. Let's see. So we pushed this, this, and this. If this is greater than or equal to, then we need to, then we need to move it because otherwise then we don't have the, we don't have the additional item uh, that will be moved once we pop the, the current min. Cool, so it looks like the runtime and the memory usage is more than fine for this case. So this is where I'm gonna leave it here for, for tonight because it's getting late, I've got other stuff to do. And I just came back from a road trip and I am tired as hell. So I hope you learned something and I will see you for the next problem.